Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this really smooth 3D title for your music video from scratch. To do this, we'll of course be using After Effects and we'll be combining with my favorite plugin, Element 3D, to create that 3D. Because basically, After Effects 3D just sucks. Element 3D is a better alternative of that, you know what I'm saying? So, we're going to be using that. So, without wasting any more time, let's just get into After Effects. So, in my timeline, you can see I have a normal like 2d text already made so it is like a 2d title here you you can write anything like you can write your name you can write anything you want but i guess you are here for music video so just write your music video title and at the top just write your artist name where it says artist name so something like this if you don't know how to create a text bro just search it up bro like it's some skills issues but jokes aside bro it is really simple to like make text so just like search it up bro but anyways let's just make a new solid right here where we gonna add the element effect on uh, let me just close this right now and after you install like element 3d into after effect just add element 3d into the white solid and it will instantly make it like transparent and your white solid will be gone with the element in here so that's exactly what we want right here so before jumping into scene setup we gotta select our text as a custom layer so for that just go to it says custom layers go to custom text and marks and in path layer one just set it as your artist name the 3d type i mean which for me is actually this like two right here layer two and now in the drop down of custom texture maps just open that as well and in layer one just set it as your footage layer which is this one the last one now you can close both of these close the custom layer and go over to scene setup now let it load for a second as you can see it loads up in a completely new like panel you can say it is really easy to use so all you gotta do to make your 3d text is just hit extrude right here and your 3d bevel will be right here but before getting more into the video i just like to give a shout out to my ultimate 3d title bundle which if you don't know it comes with 3d text and title presets and my og 3d title pack so it's basically like a hella presets and project files which you can use to create like 3d title in seconds so all you gotta do is just like edit the text layer and you are pretty much done and for the 3d presets it's just like drag and drop and you just gotta change the custom layer and you're done so so yeah if you are like frequently making like those 3d title and like want to automate that process it is really go to like i use it on every every single project and music video of mine as well and it helps me save a lot of time like all of these titles are super goaded i'll link it in the description if you want to check it out but let's just get into the video so as i was saying we have our bevel right here but we're gonna go head over to preset now go over to where it says bevels and in physical we're just gonna use a preset from here so just choose a good one that you like for me maybe something like this nah you can just like go through and see what works the best for you but for me i think this three layer bevel style looks real hard for me so i'm just gonna open the extrusion model let's just make it full screen for sure and firstly we're gonna select the bevel one and extrude that or uh, something like this and just play with the g offset so it's on the back as well and do the same with the paint extrude there play with the g offset and extrude the white bevel as well and just play with the offset so it is a little thicker as you can see it is a much more thicker now that's exactly what we want you can make it more like extruded if you like but it's just your choice to be honest maybe something like this yeah that looks hard now we can like start messing around with all those like material and stuff so for that i just like to open up material and if you don't have pro shaders or elite shaders just use the physical material that comes with like the element but for me i'm just gonna open up the pro shader right here and going to metal i'm just gonna use one of these so what would look good in here maybe something like maybe something unique like metal brushed black yeah that's, that looks hard bro that looks low key hard but it is like too dark for me so i'm just gonna go over to here and make it a little lighter something like this and maybe bring up the diffuse and bring up the reflections and also you can lower down the bump map also the like the glossiness to around like 15 or something like that so as you can see we have something like a glossy material now that's exactly what we want then now you can select the paint as well 
and do the same thing with it i guess paint is good so we ain't really gotta mess around with this one not gonna lie then if you finally like you can open up the babel one and mess around with in there as well you can like mess around with the reflections and in the black the babel one i like to scroll down towards his emanation and set the color to like something like blue because my scene is kind of bluish so let's just set it to blue something like this or maybe a little lighter so something like there and bring up the intensity and just bring up these two value in the bottom so it is like basically like reflecting in the back type shit so something like this maybe lower down it a little bit more uh, maybe something like this yeah yeah something like that maybe i'ma make it a little like extruded as well because it is like really thin for me not gonna lie now as you might remember we set it our like footage layer as environment so we can select our footage as environment by going into environment go over to where it says basics toolkit go over to the drop down and just select your custom layer one right here and hit okay and then it will start reflecting our background and matching our background as well so something like that and yeah, I think I'm happy with the bevel, not gonna lie. Or uh, maybe I'm just gonna go over to the paint and just like lower down the extrusion. But with that, I think I'm happy with it. So now we can just head back to the actual scene. And now you can see our 3D text in here. But our 2D text is overlapping. So just like hide your 2D text for now. We don't need it anymore. But make sure you don't do the mistake of like deleting like the text layer. Because we need it in there. Just hide it. Now in here what we gonna do is make a new camera so for that just right click on a blank space go over to where it says new camera and in camera make sure the focal length is set to five because i think it gives a really cool like depth of field kind of effect and it like really looks cool i feel like just like it would be originally be on like 24 just like edit it to like say five and just hit okay after that and already you can see like if i grab this tool and zoom out as you can see it has a lot of depth already oh uh, i don't like how the uh, like the background reacting to our like the what you can say the title so to fix that you can go over to render settings go over to where it says lighting and in additional lighting just set it to something like 360 and just rotate the lighting until it like brights your like until it like brights in the front so something like this maybe maybe something like this you can just like play around to see what works the best and maybe something like this in here yeah something like this yeah yeah, yeah. And actually you can make a new null layer right here, null object. And now selecting your camera, just make uh, your null 3D as well and selecting your camera, just like link the null, like the camera to the null and just like tilt it a bit. So something like this. So it has a little bit of, so it has a little bit of tilt in there. So something like that. And also to make it more like visible, you can turn on the AO and bring it up to like 50. So it has the shadow and it already looks really real hard as you can see you can mess around with the lighting more until you get something like that you like but now i guess our t 3d title looks pretty fresh already maybe you can maybe tilt in more so something like 20 but now we gonna start like animating our 3d title in here so firstly we gonna open the group one and where it says group utility just create a new group null right here and in your timeline it will create a new group null which will actually control your title like rotation and all those stuff so if you play around with this you can see it is just like a parent null of our like 3d title so now you can use this to like animate it it is like really easier than using a uh, uh, what you can say like uh, the values of like element but in here i just like to go over to the end and bring up the scale and hit the stop part in the scale go over to the first frame and just set it to zero and then you can select both of those keyframe f9 to easy is go into the graph and in graph just make a smooth graph like this like this so it like pops in something like there as you can see it looks real hard and then you can also bring up the rotation go over to around something like here and for now we're gonna play with the x rotation right here go to the first frame and set it to like one cycle like the first value to one so it like cycles through like one time maybe actually like two times so it looks cool then you can easy ease those keyframe f9 and go into the graph one ahead 
Oh, my second keyframe was on on two as well. Let's just set it to zero. And then if we go into graph and just make a graph like this in the graph right here. So it basically comes like rotating something like there. Looks real hard. And with that, as you can see, we already have a basic animation like. And to make it more smoother, we just gonna go to our world solid again. Go which way says particle look. Go to the deform, and we gonna play with the deform to get a better look in here. So in deform, firstly we gonna turn on the taper enable that and set it to 0 0.1 or 0 0.1 so it gives like that like this and you can also like go with the curve in the minus one so something like there and then go to where it says twist and enable the twist and it go to something like here around the end and hit the stop watch where it says twixt x go over to the fast frame and just like bring up the key value right here and then you can easy ease those keyframe right here go into the graph and just make a graph like this so it like bends as well when it like rotates so make a tight graph like this maybe you can bring on the keyframe a little bit more and now that looks super super smooth right there now go to where it says bend and just hit enable and you can just bring up the bend a little bit and just like curve it so uh, like 40 or some shit like that now finally in here you can start adding the ending animation so go to where it says group null and bring up the position and hit the stopwatch in the position put it something around around like here and go to the end and just like zoom in so it like zooms into the text and just like goes off the screen type shit now again just easy is that go to the graph you already know, know the drill but i'm really like tired of repeating the same shit again and again make a graph like this bro just go into the speed graph and make a graph like this and with that right there i think our animation is also done and yeah the animation looks super super dope fashion and now we can move on to the uh, element again and we can start adding like different type of glows and all that good stuff to make it like really like pop out but before that i like to go into where it says rotate environment and rotate the environment for a bit just to see if we got like good scene in here that looks cool to make it a little brighter you know sense or something like that but yeah i guess that looks cool enough so now you can start adding the glow and stuff in here so for the glow you can use the normal glow that comes with after effect but just because the normal glow isn't good enough i'm just gonna use an optic glow that comes with ray design vfx right? yes this is a plugin but i really recommend this if you are like doing vfx and stuff like this is really cool of a glow and in here just bring up the highlights only so it affects the highlights and bring up the size and lower down the amount a little bit and it gives that beautiful glow right there that we want and just set it to extend a little more so we get back the background maybe lower down the highlights only a little more and in outer tint you can set it to something like blue to get get a blue tone in there according to your scene of course if you want you can make it more smoother by turning the motion blur on there and i don't like the motion blur sample of like our element so and lastly to top it off you can add like a curves and just crush the highlights and the shadows so just with the s curve so it like pops out you know what i'm saying something like there glow right there and with that glow it looks super super dope now you can start adding some final touches in here just like going to your background and adding something like a camera lens blur into your background lower down the amount at the first as it goes just bring it up to around like 13 so it like blurs out the background and if you like you can also like lower down the opacity of background as it goes so it gets like a little darker helps the title to like pop out more maybe a little brighter not gonna lie and then you can add a adjustment layer on top of that as well add like something like a cc vignette and just like bring up the amount and toggle switches and mode set it to soft light and just like animate the opacity of this as well but it is completely like your choice to whatever you want after this not gonna lie like you can add something like different overlays in here different like 3d models it's your choice bro completely but finally now to top it all off i'm just gonna use some lens flare in here so right here i have pulled up 
tiny tapes, lens dart pack. Uh, it comes with a bunch of lens dart overlay. Like they are super, super high quality. I use it on like every single video of mine as well. So if you want to download this, I'll link in the description. And you can also use the code ASIM to get like $5 off. The reason I recommend this lens dart overlay is like these are really high quality so if i show you like it is like extremely high quality as you can see like it is like crystal clear bro so as i told you like i'll link it in the description but now in here we're just gonna set the uh, like the blending mode to color dolls remove the blacks and as it comes in lower down the opacity so something like around like here go to the fast frame lower it down to zero bro my computer is about to explode not gonna lie because like i'm recording at the same time and i'm editing this like heavy video at the same time bro like it is like going crazy but anyways then you can add like a camera lens blur in here nah, not a camera lens blur actually a fast box blur and just bring it up bruh i don't think i can go more in, in in this effect so with that i think our final effect looks something like this i wanted to go in more and like show you the possibilities but my computer is literally about to explode so but yeah as i told you like if you want to automate this process you can just grab my 3d tire bundle like it comes with project file and presets all ready to use to create these title titles in like two minutes like if i see this recording right here it took me around 40 minutes to like make this title right here but with my title package it is just like drag and drop like it is literally like four minute process with my title pack so yeah as i told i'll link it in the description but but with that being said that's it for today's video guys and if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this follow me on instagram do all that good stuff and i'ma see you on the next one peace